everyone, my name is Millie and welcome to The Performing Arts and Me. For those of you that don't know who I am, I am a drama school, well I've just finished a foundation year at drama school at Burke College and come September I will be starting at London Studio Centre on their degree course and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about another one of my auditions that I did um, this year. I've already made one of these videos about my In Mealdale audition and today I'm going to be making one about my Trinity Laban audition. However, I don't have my notes. After the auditions I try to kind of make notes on how the day was structured, um, but for some reason I can't find what I wrote down for Trinity Laban. So we're gonna improvise it. I'll try to remember it, but it was back in February half term so it's been a little while since the audition so you might need to bear with. As with the other video this is just an expression of how the day ran for me. It might be different for you if you do audition there in the future. So just take this as an example of what an audition day might look like at Trinity Laban but be prepared for something to be different so that it doesn't throw you on the day if you are auditioning and it's different to this next year or in other years to come. Right now I'm going to start. Now me getting to Trinity Laban was a whole fiasco in itself so I think I might do a little story time on that in another video because my Trinity Laban audition was on the day of one of the big storms in February. Uh, I think it was Storm Eunice. So me getting there was a bit of an issue because I was trying to use public transport. But I made it there. So I'm going to just start from when I got in the building rather than me getting to the building. Also, my day was possibly slightly different because there were less people there because of the storm. Um, but yeah, anyway. So when Trinity Laban gave us the option of our audition days, there was like a grid I think and you could pick like your first to whatever choice it was um, and so it would have like the day and then morning or afternoon and so you might pick morning on that day and afternoon on that day as your second choice or whatever you wanted. Um, so my audition was in the afternoon. I want to say it started at like one or two-ish but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so when I arrived and I made it into the building um, I was told to wait in the cafe area they did like a temperature check I think and uh, like gave some hand sanitizer and got us to wait in like their cafeteria um, and there were students there which was like a bit odd for me because the other audition that I've been to at that point in Mildale there had been students like that were student helpers but there weren't students that were studying there on that day so there were students in the cafeteria area and so I just sat down at a table with some of them um no i think i went to the toilet but anyway um so after we've been sitting there for a while the group from the morning hadn't finished yet or something so i went to go and check if we'd missed someone coming to get us uh, but she said no just wait in the cafeteria um area and see and wait and someone will come and get you so someone did come and get us um which was good because i was like oh did i miss something while i was in the toilet but no it was fine so someone came to get us and they took us through their turnstiles that they have they greeted us at this table and there was a form that they were filling in and so they had to ask us some questions about our level of dance experience and i remember doing this form the year before when it had been online um and it's like for different dance disciplines are you beginner intermediate or advanced and i was like what do those terms mean because I've done my intermediate ballet exam for RAD, but I would say that that's quite an advanced level of ballet. But like, so yeah, I, I didn't know what to say. So I just tried to explain to the girl what my experience was and then let her categorise me where possible. So I think I said I was beginner for tap, intermediate for ballet and intermediate for jazz or something. I think they were the three disciplines. I can't remember if it was jazz. Um, but anyway, once they'd filled out our form, I think we got a name sticker um and we were taken upstairs into a room to wait and then i think what happened next oh yeah i went to the toilet again i go to the toilet not at auditions because i'm like i'd rather go than be desperate in the dance class um so yeah i was in the toilet and a girl was with me and i could see them like doing something in the room i was like they started but basically what they were doing the student helpers were getting them to do warm-up games um, so we just, as everyone like came in, they joined in. I think we were playing like splat or something. And the student helps were really nice and they helped us like settle down um, and like feel at ease. Um, and then the principal of NT, I think it was, came into the room and explained how the day would run. Um, so I think they might do it differently when they have more people, but because of the storm, I don't think everyone was there. 
um but we i think we just stayed as a group like all of us all together um and so we all went to singing first then we all went to acting and then we all went to dance um i think they maybe normally split them in two but just because there were less of us they kept us all together um so we went to singing first and we weren't really given a chance to change now i had um my audition wear i layer over the top so i just pulled my skirt on and shoved my feet in my heels to do my song because that's how i wanted to sing like to present myself for singing um but there were people doing it in like like jogging bottoms whatever they'd come in um they didn't give us a chance to change so if you want to change you might want to bear that in mind obviously it might be different for you but it kind of gave me the impression that they didn't mind what you were wearing as well so just bear that in mind whatever you would choose i obviously can't speak for what the audition panel are looking for but i just wanted to share that bit with you um yes so we did our singing and for trinity laban we all sat and watched each other sing and i think this was the only audition where we did this but i actually really liked it because that's what we do in acting through song and i like watching what other people are singing and sounding like um there were some great performances so we all got up and we did one of our songs uh, i don't think anyone did two um, we'd take our sheet music to the pianist, blah blah blah, the pianist gave me some tips on how to present my sheet music, so that's handy. Um, and then we'd get up and... did we introduce ourselves? Maybe. And perform our songs. Oh, and we had to bring a little um, photograph of ourselves, like a little passport sized photo, to give to the panel. And we gave that to them um, as we got up, because I think they just wanted something to have as a reference point to, of what we look like to put with our notes. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we did we did our songs and then we went to do, no, we didn't go to do acting. So then we had a little bit of a break, um, but some of the people were told to stay behind in the singing room and they said it's not like either way, it's not a good or bad thing to be kept behind. Um, they might just need to hear more of you. So they got some people to sing a bit of their second song at that point, I think. And I think they might have also got some people to do things like scales and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, I wasn't kept in there, so I can't tell you what I had to do because I didn't have to do anything. Then we went into acting and did we start with a little workshoppy thing or did we do our monologues first? I think we did a warm up and then I think we went into our monologues. And again, we sat and watched each other's monologues. Um, they had a chair if people needed to use a chair. And yeah, again, it was quite nice to see everyone do their monologues. And then we went to... And then I think we did go into a little acting exercise. It was nothing like crazy um, as a workshop thing. It was just a really short exercise and they guided you through it. Um, so yeah, if you're doing that, just listen to what they're saying. So yes, our final session for the day was dance. We did have a little bit of time to get changed, but it wasn't like you've got ages. It was like get changed and be ready to go. So I got changed and then went and got, it was waiting in the dance room. Um, however, it actually took them a little while to get us ready to actually do the audition um, because the sheets, the marking sheets, hadn't arrived in the audition room. So we were just warming up and stuff at the beginning. Um, and I didn't realise that the teacher was in the room. So this is just a little note. If you're doing a dance audition, um, I would advise you to be warming up in the time when you're waiting rather than sitting around chatting. Um, just because I feel like that that would probably create a better impression of you. And I didn't realise the teacher was in the room. I thought the teacher, the person who was the teacher was in the room. I could see she was there. But I thought she was one of the student helpers because either she hadn't introduced herself at the beginning or I hadn't been there when she introduced herself. So she was doing her own warm up and I was doing my warm up. Yeah, then she was like, oh, okay, um, I think we're going to start now without the sheets of paper in here. And I was like, oh, wait, this is the teacher, not the student. So um so we did the dance class we did some like technical exercises uh, a bit of corner work and then a routine um midway through someone came in to say that they were shutting the building because of the storm so we have to had to be out by a certain time um but yeah i think she spaced us according to our like the order of the sheets of paper and then after that we were basically free to leave they didn't have a cut in the day or anything like that i think there was an option of recall as, as in i think they did recall some people um but i wasn't offered a recall and i wasn't offered a place so that was the end of my experience with trinity laban 
um but i did really enjoy the day but yeah that's kind of it um my audition day structure at trinity Laban. i'm trying to think if there's anything else to mention oh yes when we were having the break when some people were in the singing um and we were just sitting outside we were talking to the student helpers and they were answering our questions and stuff so that was useful oh yes one more important thing to mention so i was doing a musical theatre audition um but it was in the dance building um and they have like two or three buildings Trinity Laban so make sure you get the right building also I mentioned in my Emil Dale video that I've watched videos from Lucy Stewart Adams and a channel called Auditioning for Drama School um and the girl on Auditioning for da Drama School she mentioned that at this station you have to remember to tap out um so it's the nearest station I think is Cutty Sark and they don't have barriers they only have those little um oyster card readers that you get on the platforms or like around this like around the station so you have to actually find one and remember to tap out um and yeah so i was aware that that was going to be the case but you might not be so if you don't know cutty sark remember to find the little yellow um thing to tap out because there's not a gate there's not a barrier yeah as i said remember to take this with a pinch of salt because i don't have my notes so i'm trying to do this from memory and obviously it might be different for you but i hope this video has been helpful and if it has, please do give it a like to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my other videos about my audition day structures at the other schools. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye!